I really want to stress here, and this is like, if you get one thing out of this video, then this is what you should be taking out of this. That the color of the stool that we worry about the most is when the poop is really pale white or this kind of clay colored stool. If the stool is lacking any bilirubin pigment, then it will appear really white or clay colored. So remember that it's the liver that dumps the bilirubin into the intestinal tract. So if you have a blockage in the liver or just after the liver before that duct that kind of delivers the bile into the GI tract, then obviously you're not going to end up with any bilirubin in the stool. So really any obstruction in those ducts or some sort of obstruction in the liver can end up with this clay colored stool. One of the things that we're very worried about is a disease called biliary atresia. Biliary atresia is a very bad but quiet disease. Often this doesn't present for weeks, but the earlier that the disease is caught, the sooner that surgery can be done to try to kind of fix the drainage of the bile ducts and the better the babies do. Stool cards are published in many countries and given to parents so that they can identify what normal and abnormal poop looks like. And just really to kind of reinforce the fact that white or clayish colored stool is dangerous. And if anybody sees this white or clay colored stool when they're at home, then they should definitely tell their doctors. If you don't have a stool card, then just be sure when you're discharging patients to tell the parents that white stools are concerning and to alert their doctors if they see it. 